Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a mod spotlight and tutorial uh, for the tornado mod for Minecraft 1.4.7. So, this is what the mod is. So as you can see, there's wind here. Um, that's part of it, there's wind. Not always, but there's wind. It can be good or bad, but yeah, there's wind. <laughs> um, Okay, so as you can see in my inventory, I have these six items. These all do their own thing, they're all part of the mod, obviously. I don't know why they don't have any texture to them, and they're all just a feather and string, and then there's four hammers here. That's all I got there. Uh, and then you have a tornado sensor and a tornado siren. I don't know what the sensor exactly does, I haven't put in enough time to figure out what it does exactly. You could probably read it on the form. But I do know this: the tornado siren, uh, if there's a tornado forming, like it's right on, it's touching the ground, it'll start beeping and making noise. So that's what that does. Um, the tornado gun I will show you last, because that will cause a tornado, which is big and scary. Uh, the worm gun, still don't know what it does. I click, nothing happens. Maybe it, yeah, I don't know what the worm gun does. So you guys are going to have to figure that out. Okay. Never mind. Okay, still don't know what it does, but I guess it shoots fire. Oh, and it sets things on fire? I don't know. Maybe one of you guys knows what it does, because obviously I don't. Oh, maybe you just click and it shoots fire? Oh, yeah. Ooh, I could get used to that. Okay, so it's official. The worm gun shoots fire. The shockwave item. You smack the ground with it. It just kind of flips up the dirt. Yeah. Flips up the ice. Flips up the water. Doesn't do anything to trees, I guess. Oh no. Okay. So that's what that does. Uh, the drill item. Hit it. The drill's actually a kind of nice staircase for you. I'm not going down because I'll die. Because you guys, if anyone here knows me, I'm not very good at Minecraft and I will die. Let's get out of here. Okay. Is there a tornado for me? No, just a big fire. Oh my. Let's get out of here. Alright. So, let's put down Tornado Siren. And I guess the sensor. Should we make a tornado? Why not? There's a siren for you. Oh no. Oh, no. As you can see, I'm flying. Let's go right to the heart of the storm. I like this mod though because it's kind of, kind of, not really. Well, it's not realistic, but you don't die when you fall out of a tornado, which is sick. This one's actually sweeping through. The other times there's been tornadoes that just stay stagnant in one position, so that's pretty sick. It actually sweeps. Let's make another one. Maybe I can. Oh, that's big enough. Maybe I made it bigger by doing that. That's a big storm. Oh, no, there's a second tornado. It's coming down. Oh, no. This is a disaster. You know, we better, better get our drill light, you know. It helps. Oh, wait, I can shoot fire. Oh, this is fun. This is good, this is good, this is fun. So that's pretty much the mod, guys. But it just adds a little element of, I don't know, just, I don't know. It's just, it leaves it, you know, a little element of surprise and danger to what there already is. And you can also configure the mods so there's no tornadoes and there's this and that. And apparently there's waves that can occur in the water, but I haven't seen any. So, it's me there. I'm not thinking there's many waves. I'm just thinking there's these things. That's huge! Maybe the fire will come. No fire. Dig, 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 dig. We should be safe now. No, we're not. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Alright, guys. So, I think everyone understands what this mob does. So, that's a lot of water. Uh, so I will see you guys for the installation tutorial. Alright guys, so I'm back, and we're back, and I am just forced updating my Minecraft now to get rid of the mod. So I can show you guys how to install it. So, I'm just gonna let Minecraft update here. Now I can close it. Now let's get into this tutorial. Remember, this is for Minecraft 1.4.7. If this, if you're watching this and it's a later Minecraft and you need help, don't leave a comment. 
I don't go back to older versions and troubleshoot. Check for new videos, maybe this video will be back up for 1.4.8, but it should be, or whatever ne is next. But let's get into the actual tutorial here. So there's going to be three links in the description. This one, this one, and this one. This one's going to be shortened, though. And this is too many items, guys. If you don't know what that is, um, then, well, you should know what it is. And you do not have to install this. This is totally optional, but I like to install it with every mod just in case. It's just a nice tool to have, but it is tempting to cheat when you have it. Okay. So let's get into this tutorial. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to this link, and right here it should say latest download for 1.4.7. There's nothing to click on here. You want to go client and server mirror one. Click on that. It should take you to a new link like this, and it's just say here, download starts in. A timer should show up. Let that timer count down. See, I want to, I, I don't know how you get that. That's pretty sick. And then you want to click on it after the five seconds is gone. And then it'll redirect you to another waiting page. Don't click on any of this. This is all lies. Wait up here. Skip add. Click that. Download. You're done. You can exit out of that link, that entire link. It's going to be another link. It should be pretty short. Look like that. It's going to take you here. Hit download. This is Forge Universal for 1.4.7 for Mac. It's custom made. I made it for you guys. Because if you just download any normal one, it won't work for Mac. Your Minecraft will freeze. And then too many items I'm going to download as well. So it's another five seconds. you got to wait. Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, and one. And skip add. And we got our three items downloaded. You can now exit out of whatever web browser you're using. I happen to be using Chrome. You're going to want to go into your finder now and go into your downloads. Mm. And you're going to want to get the stuff that's in your download folder and just drop it onto your desktop like that. And then you might want to right click and hit clean up so it separates them and they're not all cluttered like that. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to, get a, you're going to want to get the one that says forge and the one that says tornadoes and the one that says too many items. You click on each one and unzip it. So now you should have three blue folders, three white zip files. You're going to want to get those white zip files and just drop them in the garbage. Now you should have three blue folders on your desktop. Alright, so the next step from here is you're going to want to click on Finder again. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. But then you can exit out of Finder. Then go up here and click Go, and click Go to Folder, and type that in. That's the squiggly thing, backslash library. I don't know what the squiggly thing is called, but squiggly thing sounds nice. Then hit Go. Then you're going to want to go into Application Support. You're going to want to find Minecraft. It should have a lowercase m. And you're going to want to go into Bin. Then you should see a minecraft.jar jar file, and you're going to want to right click on that and click get info. Then you should see name and extension, and you're going to want to add .zip to the end, and then exit out. This should pop up. Click use.zip. Then you're going to want to double click on the minecraft.jar.zip, it should unzip, and now you should have a blue minecraft.jar folder. Get the minecraft.jar.zip, and keep it on your desktop just in case you have any issues later. All you have to do is drag that back in, delete the zip part, and then Minecraft should work good as new. So you shouldn't have any freezing Minecraft issues because you can always replace it with that to fix it. Now go into your Minecraft.jar and find meta-inf. That's M-E-T-A dash I-N-F. It's all capitals. And delete that. It should go into your recycle bin. Now you're going to want to go into your Forge Universal folder. Forge Universal. And you're going to want to hit Command A. And that should highlight every file in here. I'm not going to scroll through it all. That would take forever. Then hit Command C, then go in here and hit Command V. Then check the Apply to All checkbox and hit Replace. Then it should be copying over like that. Then you can exit out of the Forge Universal folder. And then you're going to want to get the Too Many Items mod folder, and you're going to want to highlight all those by hitting Command A, and then hitting Command C. And then going in here and hitting Command V. By the way, what we just did is we highlighted all, copied, and paste. That's what all those commands mean. It's just an easier way to do it. Then you're going to want to go back two times in the Minecraft folder. And you're going to want to open up the Tornadoes mod. Then you should see right here, put all folders, blah, 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 blah. Click that. Then cl And then you want to stop here. You should see mods. Right-click on that and copy it or hit Command-C. Then go in here and hit, or, and then paste it or hit Command-V. And then you're pretty much done. You've done it. But wait, there's more. 
Um, right here you should see weather configs. This is optional. Um, for this, you're just gonna, if you want to, if you don't want tornadoes, you just drag that in to your minecraft.jar and it'll disable tornadoes. If you don't want that, done. If you don't want that, done. You can configure that on your own. I want everything just how it's supposed to be, so I'm gonna leave it. And I can now exit out of my minecraft.jar. If everything went well, then I'm done. So let's find out if everything went well. So I'm gonna log on in here. This should pop up. If that doesn't pop up, you did something wrong. Mojang should pop up. And you're done. Thanks guys for watching. Let me just prove to you that the mods are actually installed. I'm not actually going to do anything with the mod. Because I've already done that. So, yep. As you can see, everything, hold on, is installed. Yeah, no more of that. Alright guys. Thank you guys all for watching. It's really annoying. Four squid. There we go. Alright, but once again, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys, I hope the tutorial worked for you. If you have any questions, comment, but nothing should go wrong if you follow my instructions exactly. You saw exactly what I did, so if you did what I did, it'll work. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Subscribe. Peace out.